name's Sam and welcome to my old school RuneScape 1 to 99 mining guide. Uh, this mining guide is going to be covering the pay to play um, fastest way to 99, pay to play fastest way with money, and free to play F9, which is a bit random in some ways. So I'm going to try and not um, rumble on as much as I can because you, you, you will have noticed how long this video is. Um, so bear with me for, I do recommend that you do watch the whole video. So yeah, please bear with me for the whole video and I hope the video helps you. killer guide you want to watch, you can find where it is in the video here. Okay, I know that wasn't really a proper intro, but this is the proper intro of the video. So yeah, welcome to the guide again, this one has been a long awaited video on my channel, I've been thinking of putting it together for quite a while now, and I have finally got around to doing it. I've put as much effort as I can into it, and I've tried to make it as clear as possible, so I hope you do see that side of it. So first of all, I'll be going through with you um, basically an introduction to the skill and items that you need. So for those of you who don't know, you should know, mining is a skill where you mine rocks, you obtain ores, and you get experience from those ores. So to mine those ores, you need a pickaxe, and now I'll guide you through the pickaxes. So, at level 1, you can use the bronze pickaxe and the iron pickaxe. At level 6, you can use the steel pickaxe, and then you see the list here. This is how far it goes down. The best thing to do is to use the best pickaxe you can at each level for maximum uh, ore rate or XP rate you might want to call it. So that's pickaxes. And you've got other things that help. These come from the mother load mine, that are the coal bag, which you can, you can put 28 coal in. And you've got the gem bag, which you can store 300 gems in. That's 60 of emeralds, sapphires, rubies, and diamonds, and dragonstones. But dragonstones won't matter. And last but not least, you've got the prospector gear. When worn, I'll show you it now. This gives you 2.5% extra XP. It doesn't make a huge difference, but over time it does add up, so I do recommend you get that as soon as you can. But I'll, once again, this will all be explained later in the video. Okay, so we'll be starting with the pay to play fastest possible method to 99. I have them on the screen right now, so if you want to take a look at them, um, please do. So I'll read them out 1 to 11, Dorix Quest, 11 to 15, Copper and Tin of Rock. 15 to 80 iron or power mining and 80 to 99 granite and sandstone at the quarry. So this I think, I don't think I've made a mistake here, this is the fastest possible way. There is no way that is quicker. So from 1 to 11 you'll be doing door quest. so for this we need 2, two iron, 4 copper and 6 clay. Once you've done that, then you need to be heading to Falador or just north of Falador where you can find Doric. So from Falador run north and then out of the area which is west and all the way up to where you see the quest point mark and then you need to talk to Doric quickly if you haven't started the quest and then talk to him and you'll give him what you need and then you've completed the quest so you'll get 1300 mining XP which will be enough to get you to 11 mining if you haven't got any mining XP so far Okay, so from, a, from level 11 to 15, you'll be mining tin and copper in the Varrock East Mine. It's very simple to get to. I've shown you on screen how to get, how to get there now. You'll only be requiring 58 copper or tin to get to level 15. So I recommend you simply just drop the ore as soon as you mine it, or mine a few and then drop it then. The best way to do this is with the mouse keys. And there will be a link in the description of the video I have of how to get mouse keys. So please look at that as they'll be very, very handy if you're using this method particularly. So for this, this shouldn't take you very long at all, it probably will take you maybe 10 minutes perhaps at the most I reckon, but this is from 11 to 15, you'll be mining tin and copper. Okay, so from level 15 to 80, you'll be iron ore power mining at either Alcarid, the Legends Guild, or the Piscatorius fishing colony just outside it. And the way to do this is by... You, you're, you're perfectly positioned so you can mine all the ores um, without having to move any spaces so you just want to keep clicking on the ores and mining them you eventually you will find a beat and you'll be able to mine them almost perfectly and as soon as you mine them you just want to drop them instantly use either mouse keys for this I would recommend mouse keys as that will save your hands a lot of well, stress I would call it so yeah it's quite simple really but um, my advice for this is not to do it for too long periods of time, otherwise you'll, yeah, you'll want to kill yourself if you went all the way from 15 to 80 without doing something else. So spread out your time when you do this, or unless you really, really want that 99, do it as quick as you can. The other way to do this is by mining ore until you get all the way to the full inventory. 
and then once you have a full inventory you can simply just drop them all at once some people prefer this because they can either drop them quicker or they just prefer it generally but I, I can't really recommend either way, whichever way suits you, it will take you 56,675 iron to get to level 80. You will not be keeping any of this, so you won't be making any profit by doing this. From level 80 to 99, you're going to be doing granite and sandstone at the quarry, it's just south of Alcarid in the Shante Desert. Best way to get here is by using the Camulet, or you can just walk from the Shante Pass. I will have a map up on, on screen in a bit to show you the best way to... Um, get there if you don't have a camulet but follow the route i just did on the camulet and once you're there now i'll show you the map you just need to go south on the shanty, shanty pass and walk all the way down to the quarry so once you're there then this method is quite similar to iron ore power mining what you do you mine the piece the piece of granite and then you mine the sandstone behind it and then you do exactly the same with the two rocks next to it and then once you've mined them all then you just drop them all and then you move back to where you were and do exactly what you were doing so now I'll have um, a long clip showing you basically me doing it for ages, it's playing right now. Um, this is pretty much what you do, there isn't really, there's not a better way to do the quarry. This method's going to be getting you a decent XP rate of, if you can do it very fluently it'll get you 60k an hour, but if you're not doing it as fluently it'll definitely get you at least 50k and possibly more. So yeah, this way is the fastest way possible to get from 80 to 99. I don't really know how long it'll take because it's hard to work out, but I would estimate a few hundred hours at least anyway. And once you're there, if you just got 99 now, I will show you the emote. Moving on, we will now have the pay to play money and gaining decent XP at the same time. So this is basically a mixture of making the most profit possible and getting the fastest XP possible. And um, it's probably the method that I would advise you to use. You can see the ways of doing it on screen now. They're fairly similar to the last one apart from a few of them. So this is the method that I used to get 99 really. I just mixed up all the ways I mined. From level 1 to 11 you'll be completing Dorix quest I showed you in the last uh, method how to get it, you should probably know how to get it anyway. That's going to get you straight to level 11, which is much more easier than just grinding it out itself. So from 1 to 11 you'll be completing Dorix quest. From 11 to 15 you'll be doing tin and copper at the Varrock East Mine. You'll need 58 copper and or tin to get to level 15, this shouldn't take you very long at all. So just do it the way I'm doing it on screen now. If you did watch the first guide you'll know exactly uh, how to do this, it's not very difficult, just mine one and then drop one soon after. If you're 15 to 45 you will be mining iron or power mining at either Alcarid, the Legends Guild or Piscatorius Fishing Colony, this is due to them being very close to each, the, oh, the rocks being very close to each other. So what you do here, you mine the three ores and you have the inventory set up the way I do and then drop the three ores, you should be able to do that within a second if you have mouse keys. So I'll show you now a quick montage of me doing it. Even if you don't have mouse keys you can still do, do this quite quickly. So this is the fastest way to get to 45 from 15. It will it, the guy will mix up after this though, because it's not going to be a, just a power mining. It's going to be a bit different than that. So yep, from level 15 to 45, you'll be iron ore power mining at either of those three places I mentioned. Okay, so this is the first way from 45 to 60. You can do gold ore at Brimhaven. The best way to get to Brimhaven is by using a uh, scroll of redirection on a house tablet and then directing it to Brimhaven. Once you're there, just simply walk all the way north up to the furthest part of the aisle and you'll find yourself in this area. The king, the king, the scorpion should not attack you as long as your combat level, level is 29 I believe. And here you've got lots of gold, ro lots of gold rocks to mine. To bank, you simply just need to uh, use any sort of teleport that's going to get you close to a bank. So here I've used castle walls. So you can bank your walls and then use another house tab or from haven tab you should call it. Get straight back there and you will you require 3265 gold to get to level 60 and I'll have the profit on screen right now. The other way to uh, get to 60 is by doing gem rocks, they are faster experience than gold, however they do require the Shiloh Village Crest, so if you completed that quest you should know how to get there, I just showed you now, so I'll explain how to um, do this, so with Shiloh Village um, gem rocks you need to be wild hopping, so how they work is Pretty much, you just um, you mine them, then you hot wells, then you mine more. And what you do is drop all, drop all the gems that you don't want, and put the ones you do want in a gem bag. I highly recommend a gem bag for this. That can be from Motherlode Mine. 
Um, I don't recommend doing this if you do not have a gem bag. So I'll show you how it works now. Um, I'll mine all seven rocks that are there. And then once I have mined them, I'll, I'll click on my gem bag and put fill. And then I'll drop the ones I do not need. So then I will hop worlds. And then mine the gems on that world. Doing exactly the same as before. That time I didn't get any, sometimes that'll happen. Uh, you'll need the same amount of gems to get to level 60, but I can't work out a profit for this as you do not keep all the gems. So, the alternate way from 45 to 60, this will be faster and possibly more profit, but I do not know that for sure, is by doing gem rocks at Shiloh Village. From level 16 to 95, you'll be doing the Motherlode Mine, and the way to get there is to head to the Dwarven Mine via Falador and head down the stairs near the party party room. And once you're there, head to the sign where it says a dungeon. And this is the Mother of Mine. So how this works is you will you will mine the ore veins located in the area. They are little white um, squiggly line things. And once you've mined them, you then deposit them at the centre and then collect them in a in a bag. And you can find more, much more detail on this in my um, Mother of Mine mining guide. I'll link all these in the description. So this is the centre then, you put your ore in that coffer, or coffer, or whatever, hopper, sorry, and then you'll collect it at that sack. So for this, there are two different areas to mine. The one you'll be doing from level 60 to level 72 is basically the whole area around the motherhood mine. I'll get a map on the screen right now so you'll be able to see which areas those are. So how it works then, I will be showing you that in just a minute. So yeah, this is area 1, um, so from level 60 to 72, this is what you'll be doing. Once you reach 72, I believe you should have 100 gold nuggets. If not, then I'm sorry I've made a mistake here. But once you get to 100 gold nuggets, they're a reward from the, um, the motherload mine. You need, to, you need to talk to Prospector Percy, who's at the centre, and then pay him 100 nuggets, and then enter this ladder, which I just entered, and you'll find yourself in a much better area with more space and more ore veins and closer to the bank. So now I'll properly show you how the motherload mine works. So what you do, you need to mine the ore veins, and then you can do, this is quite AFK because you can um, just sit back and sometimes you mine double ores in one uh, vein. So that's why, it's quite, that's why it's quite useful. So then once you've got a full round, you need, you need to head to the center. You need to do a round of 26 pay dirt, that's what they're called. Then deposit it in the hopper. And if it's not working, then just wait until someone makes it work. And then head back for another round. Once you've completed four rounds of 26, a message will come up saying this sack is full. Then you want to collect your ore from the sack and then head to the bank and bank your ore. And then go, and once you've done all four rounds, then you can simply head up the stairs or the area and start a completely new round. As for XP rates, you should always be getting at least 30k experience an hour. When you get to the high levels, you'll be getting up to 45k an hour, so it's excellent XP and also it's extremely very it's extremely good money money, especially at 85, so this is definitely the, one of the best ways to get to 95. And if you have a choice, you can even do this to 99 if you do not want to do granite. That's completely up to you. So once you're at level 95, you can do granite and sandstone at basically full speed, which will make you be able to get the maximum XP rates, which are up to level 6. 60k per hour well that's how much i think you can get but some people may have done more but they probably used a they've probably really overworked there but so how this works again i'll show you again you want to mine the rock there and the one behind it and then that one and the one behind that one so and then you just want to instantly drop them afterwards have your inventory similar to mine so you've got four spaces that just drop right right underneath each other which makes it very easy for dropping use mouse keys if you have them or if you don't have them just drop them manually but uh, this is this is the fastest way from 9 to 5, it is quicker than mother load, but if you choose money and decent XP, then go to mother load, and if you want, and if you want XP, just fast XP, the fastest to 9 to 9, you choose this method. Completely up to you, if I was you, I'd probably mix it up, do a bit of granite and sandstone, do a bit of mother load, so make money and get there quickly. So now for the free to play money plus XP guide to 9 to 9, if you don't want the free to play money making guide, just go straight to the end of the video, I think it's the last 4 minutes you need to watch. But if you do want the free to play guide, then bear with me because this is probably the longest part of the video because I tried to uh, make this one as detailed as I could. So you've got the uh, methods on screen right now, so just take a quick look before you go on to the next part. From level 1 to 11, you'll be completing Doric's quest. 
it's a very simple quest, all you need is 2 iron, 4 copper and 6 clay, and then you want to take them to Doric, who is just uh, north northwest of Falador, and then if, once you get, you start the quest, then give them to him, and you get 1300 mining XP, which will be enough to get you straight to level 11 mining. Now you can do uh, tin and copper at the Valk East Mine. Now you want to use a, a steel pickaxe as you'll be high enough to use that, or a black, a black pickaxe if you do have one, but I'm not sure whether you will at this level. So for this, you just simply want to mine these two copper rocks here, and then just drop them one by one. If you want, that's the fastest way to do it, and you'll need 58 copper or tin to get to level 15. It won't take you long at all, I don't think, so this is 11.15, you'll be doing tin and copper. From level 15 to 45, you'll be iron ore power mining at Al Karid, it's the only place you can do in a uh, free to play. So, to get there, I've just shown you the way now. You simply need to go to Al Karid and then walk north into the mine. It will take you 1689 iron ore to get here. So, I'll show you how this works quickly once I find a world. So, once you've found a world, first of all, you want to mine the first rock. And then, the benefit of this space is that you don't, you don't have to uh, turn much. You only turn when you're mining the ore, you don't move any spaces, so what you do, you mine the rocks and then you drop all the ore you have mined. You can choose to set your inventory up so that you can drop it more easily, I probably would do that but I didn't in this clip, so just mine three, then drop three, mine three, drop three, or if you want, mine one, drop one, it's up to you really. Whichever way you prefer, use mouse keys for this if you have them, or if you don't have them it will be a little bit more difficult, but I wouldn't worry about that. The other way to do it is just to uh, mine all of them. Mine, mine a full inventory of them, and some people prefer mining full inventories because they don't like constant dropping, so whichever one is best for you, then yep, feel free to do that. So once you've mined uh, nearly a full inventory, use your uh, mouse keys or whatever you're using to drop them, to drop them, and then start your next round. From level 45 to 60, you'll be mining gold ore at the Dwarven Mine. Place the way to get there is to go to Falador, then head all the way into the east part of the place, and then head down the stairs into the part of the Dwarven Mine. Beware though, if you're not 65 combat, the scorpion, the king scorpion may attack you, or the other scorpions may attack you, but they're not too um, too bad. So once you find a world, then you're going to be world hopping for this. So as you are 45, you want to be using a rune pickaxe, pickaxe <laughs> to f to make it quick. So you want to mine towards and then hop worlds. Then you'll find another world, then mine the gold ore on that. And then basically you'll be doing this until you get to level level 60. So this you'll be mining 3265 gold, which will be making you a profit of, I'll have it on screen at some, um, now, profit of somewhere near 1.1 mil. It's a pretty good profit, and if you need to bank, head out the same way, and then put your ore in, ore in the deposit box and then go back for your next trip. So 45 to 60, gold ore at the Dwarven Mine. So once you reach 60, you are then able to enter the Mining Guild. It is a place just next to the Dwarven Mine. You enter this door, and what it has inside is lots of coal rocks. It's, I think it's 37, I think, and it's got five mithril rocks, so it's extremely useful for mining both at the same time. If you go in the right area, then it's perfectly straightforward. You just mine some coal, some mithril, and if you want to mine most mithril, then you can world hop, so I'll be showing you how to do that next. So you want to go about this area here, so we're, we're near the mithril rocks, you've got lots of coral scattered around, so of course do the obvious thing, start mining the coal, and then mine it, just mine, basically mine the closest rock to you, that way it's perfect. So you have a choice really, you can just do mithril all the way to 75, or coal and mithril, or just coal, but I'd prefer... Not, not prefer, I'd recommend you do coal and mithril as it will sort of, you know, it's just a bit of variation, it's not the same ore all the time, and it will make you a decent amount of profit as well. Um, I don't know the profit rates, but it's definitely going to be over 1 mil. This will make you 60 to 75, so the. Yep, so from level 60 to 75, you want to become here at the mining guild, or I didn't say earlier, but if you want to get straight to 99, the boring way, then just do iron ore power mining all the way from 15 to 99. So for 60 to 75, you'll be doing coal and mithril at the mining guild.
From level 75 to level 85 you'll be mining Adamantite Ore in the uh, Edgeville dungeon, there is another place to mine it, we'll get to that in a bit. So to get there you want to head into Edgeville, down the stairs and then follow the area that I'm going right now, all the way through the dungeon near the Slayer Master, and then all the way through the rest of the dungeon and then into that door gate and you'll find two Adamant Rocks there. So what you want to do here is mine both the rocks and then simply just hop worlds afterwards so then you can get two more clear rocks. I don't, I don't know how busy the free to play, play worlds are and how much competition there is for all, so it's difficult for me to comment on that, but um, while I was experimenting they weren't too busy so that should be fine. Now the reason why I'm making you do adamant is this is where you'll be making loads of money, but if you, if you do want to get to 85 the quick way then simply just do iron ore power mining, but that is completely up to you, so you'll be mining 21,559 adamant ore to level 85. Just to, now I have a tip though, once you've finished your first round, you want to head into the uh, area with the brass key just near it, take that brass key, and then head up the stairs near the uh, hill giants, go out the door, and then this is a much quicker way of banking, you can simply run straight to the Varrock back, bank sorry, and then bank your oars and then head back the same way you came down, so it's much more efficient doing it this way, so I'd recommend you pick up the key, or if you want just bank an edge, it's completely up to you. If you are 65 combat or over, you can do your adamant ore at the dwarven mine instead because that means the king scorpions will not attack you. This way is actually, I'd say, faster because the bank is closer and you've got three adamant rocks as well, so do it exactly the same way while topping each time. And I think this way you will make slightly more money. But as I said, I'll have the profit you'll make um, on screen right now. It may be inaccurate, but it's, it's a lot of money and it's your choice whether you want to go through this pain and do it, but I would say you mix up your methods. Now you have a choice again, you can either do um, you can do it this way, which is 85 to 99 via iron or power mining. This is the fastest way in free to play to get there. The XP rate for this is about 45, 50k, 50k experience per hour. So it's completely up to you uh, which way you do it again. Um, you can just do it the simple uh, mine three, drop three, or you could mine a whole inventory and then just drop that. So yeah, it doesn't really matter which way you do it, but if you want to get there as quickly as possible, you could do this all the way from 15 if you wanted. So I'll just show you the uh, emote again. Once you get 99. There it is then. Okay, so the other way to do it is by doing a uh, runite and iron ore, mixing them both up. So you make, you make a, quite a bit of money and get the experience uh, decently quick. So the way to do this is to, um, if you can't get a canoe, then you just have to walk, make a waka canoe and then go towards the wilderness pond and then uh, you, can, you can get your log out ready if you're really afraid but <laughs> it's up to you really there's not really that many dangerous BKs out in the free to play worlds so once you arrive there you will get attacked by some monsters so head north all the way past the horrible area I'd call it not very nice and then head all the way around the uh, lava river and then this bit's going to be important I'll be talking for a long time here so I'm sorry Okay, this spot right here is extremely key. This spot, PKs cannot see you from. And if you walk just a tiny few steps, you can see if there's any ore in the rocks and if there are any PKs or miners there. So you need to remember that spot and that's gonna be very important because you need to return to this spot before you log out, unless you have to log out just to escape a PK. So that's a very important spot. So let's start by hopping a world. We'll see if we can find some ore. So you wanna head to that. Check if there's any ore there, and we can see there is. So then you want to you want to run over to the ore, and then of course start mining. And then I see a white dot there, but he's level 36, so he's no threat to me. So yeah, I can just leave him. The important thing with PKs is to see what level that they are. That guy's level 66, so I should probably best log out if he looks threatening, which he does. He tried to attack me just then, and there you go. I logged out. So yep, yeah, you just want to log back in, but log back in a different world, of course. And uh, if there's any ore, then mine it, but if not, then you're going to have to simply just return to that spot. So you return to this spot, you hop worlds, and basically it's just this method, but just keep repeating it. And because of that tiny little step, you can see if there's a white dot there, or if there's any ore there, really. So now here's a quick uh, montage of me mining rune ore.
Okay, so you saw I got a bit of ore there, but uh, a lot of the worlds were taken. So as you can see, I logged out in front of this tree. This tree is also another good spot. And there we go, we see some white dots there. So let's log out again. So yeah, that's the thing really. You should be able to log out before they can uh, see you. So, okay, so that's going to be it for the mining on this. Next up, we're going to be showing you how to escape. So what you do, you're going to run all the way around the lava river. It doesn't actually matter which way you go, but you want to be heading south all the time. And then once you get to, once you get to level 20, use your teleport. You should be able to use your Lumbridge home teleport or just bring some teleport runes along. It's up to you. And then once you get to, down to the lower levels, into level 20, and teleport out using whatever you have, and go and bank. So a little bit of advice then, if you see a PK, don't panic too much, see what level he is, and PKs won't kill you too quickly in this, so you should have uh, time to eat enough food and maybe try and make an escape, but that's all I can say for Mining Runite. Alright, so if you're level 19 on mining and you don't know where to buy a cape, you need to simply go to Falador and you want to head towards the east part of the town and head into the rounder building and talk to the, the dwarf and then ask him for a skill cape of mining and it'll cost you 99k as you know and then there you go congratulations you bought yourself a mining cape and then when you wear it your mining level in uh, increases by one instantly so it's quite handy in fact so this is how you get your mining cape as for the design of it I didn't mind I think I quite like it the blue and the sort of grayish color there's the emote if you haven't seen it by the way so that is the end of my third and final 1 to 99 um, different way of getting the level so as for which one you should do and this one is completely up to you I'm not going to decide for you if you want to get there quickly, if you need to max or do it for achievement diaries, then go for the 1 to 99 fastest pay to play. If you want to make a bit of money but also get the 99 at the same time and you're not massively bothered about how fast you're getting XP, choose the uh, pay to play uh, fastest and decent XP. And if you're a free to play, then of course there's only one guide you can choose from. I was thinking of not doing a free to play one, but I thought it would have been quite important to do one as. A lot of people would probably would have commented on the video that they wanted to see one of them. So yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I don't believe I've missed anything. If and if I have, then yes, I'm very disappointed in myself. And coming next will be a slide of all the methods that I've shown and their XP rates and possibly money rates if I can find them. And yep, yeah, that should help you quite a lot. Um, if as for this um, video, then I want us, I want you to share your what, your opinion on it, what you thought of it by either giving it a like or giving it a dislike if you didn't like it and if you thought I could have something was good or I could improve something then please please comment it as I really want to know how I did on this video I'm sorry it was so long but um, it had to be long it had to go as in-depth as, as possible I searched up a few guides on um, YouTube and a lot of them were sort of quite short and didn't you know always make it too clear so I tried to make it a bit different with this one and if I did so then um, please let me know and yeah, thank you very much guys for watching this video, I hope it did help you in your quest to get 99 mining. And just on um, the note of that, it's not as bad a skill as you think it is really. Maybe it's a bit annoying if you want to max and it's your last skill and it's tedious, but I think it's quite a good skill to your train. It's good for profit, especially if you're a free to play player. And it's quite a balanced skill all around, nothing too OP. So that's my opinion on the skill then. Of course I have 99, so I know a decent bit amount it. So there we go then guys, that is the end of the video, of course I've already told you what's coming next, so just, um, if there's anything I did not um, include or I didn't make clear, please post it in the comments, otherwise uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.